So we've got 30 years of the Antiques Roadshow and 30 years of the Star Wars saga, of course, this being the sixth film. We, you were presumably a fan as a child. Yeah, and it just blew me away. He's never seen anything like it before, really. So this, of course, being an actually quite important poster. Do you know why this is such an interesting poster? Uh, because the name, they changed the name at the last minute from Revenge to Return. That's it. I think they felt, uh, the stories that uh, George Lucas felt that revenge wasn't something that a Jedi should really have. Right. So a little bit unjedi like so they changed it. The other interesting thing about this poster is that it's probably one of the most faked movie posters. Yeah. And there are three pointers that I tend to look at. I mean, one of the very recent reproductions was actually effectively taken from one of the folded posters. So you have to look very closely at the fold marks to make sure that through the actual fold there aren't other marks within the poster because that will indicate it's a reproduction. Of course, the other side of it is the fact that the Star Wars running along here is quite often in orange and not this yellow. Sometimes right. there's a little red line at the top. All oh, right, OK. Yeah. And then the Fox logo is normally slightly blurry on, other, on some of the reproduction posters. The one in the corner, yeah. The one in the bottom corner, right. that's right, yes. And sometimes it's a much darker blue as well. So we haven't got the fold lines. We've got a solid black, we've got a nice light blue, and we've got a yellow here across for the Star Wars. My feeling is that it's based on that and that they're the normal hallmarks of it being a reproduction or a fake. I think this is brilliant. I think this is absolutely correct. Oh, why? Right. Really, it's good. But it's very also good. very good news from the financial side of it as well, because um, I'm, I don't know what you paid for it. I paid around, just short of $100. Well, if it was a fake, I think you'd have been looking at around sort of £10. I mean, it's purely decorative really? value, little really. It's, yeah, as little as that. But an authentic one like this, I can see fetching anything from sort of £250, £300, really? maybe a little more. It's, 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 it's a sort of notorious poster. It's an iconic poster. Darth Vader, of course, you know, featuring large is a good thing. And one little last feature, I don't know whether you've ever noticed this. Have you ever looked at the lightsabers? They're the wrong way round. They are the wrong way round, yeah. exactly. It's just a, another interesting feature. Thank you very Thank much. You.